What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and as today's video, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. So if you know, the 20 and 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards support something called RTX Voice, which uses the RTX cores to help remove noise from a microphone input for live streams, etc, etc. But let's say that you recorded a video a while ago and you want to use this new RTX Voice feature on your pre-recorded clip. How exactly do you apply RTX Voice processing to a clip that's already been recorded? Well, you can only do it for live inputs, i.e. you play something into your computer through something like a microphone or anything else, and RTX Voice will do processing on it. But there is a project by a person named Zaymars, which we'll be running through in this video today. Basically, it'll help you add RTX Voice to Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, or anything else that uses VST3 plugins. Currently, Zaymar is known for his work on the StreamFX plugin, which is this thing over here. So with that aside, let's go through installing and setting it up and possibly even using it. I currently don't have a 30 series graphics card in my computer. I only have an NVIDIA GeForce 1080 and 1080 Ti, so I may not be able to actually show you this working, but I'll guide you through all of the steps that you need to do to get this working if you have a 20 or a 30 series graphics card. So with that all aside, how exactly do we get RCX Voice inside of Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition or anything else that uses VST3 plugins? Well, first of all, you'll need to make sure that you have NVIDIA graphics drivers 456.38 or higher. Where exactly do we see that? Well, we see that on this page over here, linked in the description down below. The NVIDIA Broadcast Download Center. Scrolling down, Audio Effects, We'll need one of these two over here, either for the 20 or 30 series graphics cards. And if we scroll down, we'll see the required NVIDIA graphics driver 456.38 or higher. This NVIDIA driver download link will be in the description down below, taking you to this page over here. Simply select your product type, GeForce, and then product series, either the 20 or 30 series, product, operating system, download type, language, hit search, and you'll be downloading the latest graphics driver available for your PC. If you're not sure what NVIDIA graphics driver you already have installed, simply right click on your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, head across to the help tab at the very top, and then system information. Then we'll see this pop up over here, and I currently have 456.38 installed. So I don't need to download and install the graphics driver. What I will have to do is head across to the second link in the description down below, the NVIDIA broadcast download center. We'll scroll down and we'll select audio effects, either the RTX 30 series or the RTX 20 series. For an example, I'll be downloading the GeForce RTX 30 series audio effects beta version 0.5. Simply click on the download button and click on the download so that it opens up when it's done downloading. Eventually, when the downloader completes, it'll open up something like this. Wait for it to finish. And I'll be following through the install guide over here. Read through the software license agreement, agree and continue, and then it'll go ahead and install with no questions asked. Close, and from here, we'll need to go ahead and install the actual Zaymars VoiceFX plugin. This will be the third link in the description down below. Simply head across to this page, and then click the Installer button over here. Wait for it to download, and then click on it to open it up when it's done. If you see it's dangerous, not download it commonly, click the up arrow, and then keep. Then we'll follow through with the installation. Read through these, I accept, next, and then leave this as the default place. If we copy this folder, click next, next, install, and we go ahead and open up that folder that we just copied, we should see the VSTs that it installed. We have an uninstaller over here, and inside of the contents folder, x86-64, we have the VST3 plugin over here, as well as the debugging file if you're gonna be using that. Anyways, from here, all we have to do is simply restart our computer. Then, simply open up Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition. I'll be showing you both of these, but first, Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll simply open up a project of mine, and with a project open, I'll head across to the very top, and then to Edit. Then I'll go down to Preferences, and click on Audio. Then when the screen opens up, simply click Audio Plugin Manager, and then scan for plugins. Now we should see Zaymar Voice Effects appear over here, and it should be checked under the Enabled column. Simply hit OK, and OK once again. Now we have the VST plugin enabled within Premiere Pro. All we have to do, is find ourselves a voice clip or audio clip that we'd like to apply it to. I'll just be applying it to this one over here as an example. Then navigate to your effects panel, and we'll be looking under the audio effects section, then VST3, Restoration, Zaymar, and then we have the NVIDIA Voice Noise Removal. 
Simply drag and drop that either onto the effects controls or onto the actual clip you want to remove it from. After doing that, you should see a new settings window pop up under the effects control. But for me, obviously nothing is popping up as I don't have an NVIDIA RTX 20 or 30 series graphics card. Even if it were to pop up, there are currently no options available for this plugin as it's still very early access. It's purely just a proof of concept at this current point in time, but in the future, options and customization should be added to the plugin so you can customize how strong the effect is. Once you've done that, you can simply play through your clip and all of the noise should magically be removed using RTX voice noise removal technology. Now that we've seen it inside of Premiere Pro, let's close out of it and open up Adobe Audition. With Adobe Audition open, I'll simply make myself a new audio track and I'll record a couple of seconds of talking just so you can see it pop up over here. Once we've got ourselves an audio clip, then once we've got ourselves an audio clip, at the very top, I'll head across to Effects followed by Audio Plugin Manager. Then I'll click Scan for Plugins, wait for it to finish and make sure Zaymar is on the list and checked. Clicking OK, Effects, VST3, Restoration, Zaymar, NVIDIA Noise Removal, it should apply it to this current clip. Now because I don't have a 20 or 30 series RTX card, it's showing me a simple error. If we had a multi-track sequence over here with an audio clip inside of it, to apply it to this audio clip, all you have to do is head across to your effects rack and then click the drop down next to one of the tracks here, VST3, Restoration, Zaymar, NVIDIA Voice Noise Removal. Super simple. And of course, any other programs that support VST3 plugins, you should be able to use this in. If they have trouble finding it, make sure to point them over to that folder that we copied from the installation process. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to demonstrate exactly how it works, as again, I don't have the required graphics card. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technober here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.